Hello ladies and gentlemen, welcome to a video, um, as the title says, I'm today going to be telling you how I build the animatronics that I use in my Five Nights at Freddy's maps. So, um, uh, first thing, you might notice that my voice may sound a little different, I'm using a new mic, and um, before I start building it, I'm going to show you guys, give you guys a little quick tour of the redstone I have set up, so let me just fly above here and get a big view of it before I go into detail as to how it's made and how you guys can make it as well. Um, when you guys make it, it'll probably be less complicated than what I have. Everything I have is set up to interact with each other and I can go more in depth on how I do all of this stuff and for those of you that don't know the first thing about redstone, I am going to make a video about that but people demanded this video and they really wanted it so I'm making this one first and then after this I'm going to um, do a video about how redstone does what it does so before I show you guys how to build it let me show you what it is so I'm going to set it uh, set the settings so that the mangle is the one that will be uh, attacking us this game is set in Five Nights at Freddy's 2. It's based off of that, and it's based uh, as closely as I can. The download to this map is coming out soon. Uh, I'm still uh, adding some things to it, and I want to finish those up before I make the download. So all of them are off right now, uh, all of them except Mangle, and Mangle is set to the first difficulty, which basically means um, the hardest difficulty you can set it to. You can set it, so it's that, but that's too fast, and is practically impossible to do. Um, every extra lever you flip is an extra 20 seconds, so uh, the equation on screen right now, if you guys are mathematicians, kind of shows uh, how fast it goes, and uh, you plug in these numbers, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, as the X, and the Y is how long it'll take before it moves to the next room. So to make it easier, I think this is around like a few seconds or so before, if you have none of them on. After this, it's an extra 20 seconds. If you have the second one on, it's an extra 40 seconds, extra 60, so on until you get to the end. So, we are playing with that, and I can choose to have infinite power and fast nights. I'm gonna turn on infinite power just so I don't die and lose it, and fast nights I don't need because I need to make sure I can show you guys to the fullest extent what it does. Uh, you get over here after you finish set, uh, setting it, you push spawn cart, it'll fall from the sky, it takes a little while, there it is, hit the go button, and then you go. And then you get a little tour of the entire uh, redstone um, that it takes to run the music just kind of cut out, okay. And, um, yeah, I, I was going to have this all blocked off, but I didn't for two reasons. One of them was because it would take more time to do, and the second one is because I wanted to show off uh, all the redstone work that I had to put into this. So as soon as you get to the end, you get to this, and then you get kicked off your minecart instantly. Now, I highly recommend playing in creative mode in case anything does go wrong. You can always just fly. This is supposed to be, supposed to be covered up. but it's not that big of a deal. You push the button, and then it drops you in. So this is the uh, layout of the the uh, camera of the map. So right now, Mangle isn't moving yet because um, it says so the first round, they're not on the map. And here we have the hallway, which is lit up, and it's not supposed to be, like I said. I, when I do a lot of my building and testing and stuff, it's um, I don't put a lot of things back. So now that we put that back, uh, Mangle still hasn't moved yet. As you can see, if I turn on the flashlight here, uh, you push the button once, and then the light will go on after a little while, and it stays on. Now, you kind of can see them. Uh, you're not supposed to, though. Um, from this point of view, you can't see any of them. You're not supposed to. Don't worry. There's a sound that plays whenever they're going. Right now, Mangle has shown up in her room. But um, if you go in here, you can see that all of the animatronics are there. You just can't see them and even behind here, here's Foxy, here's Freddy. And then this pulls away and then there's the marionette. So it's all behind the scenes stuff. Since we have infinite power on, we can leave the flashlight on as long as we want. Uh, but 
to keep it a little spooky, we're not going to. These left vent and right vent uh, flashlights don't use any of your power, and then whenever uh, one of them hop pops into your um, room, you push this button once, and then after a little while, the mask will come up, and then you push it again and after they're gone, and then um, you're good. Now, the reason you can't have the mask on the entire time, see Mangle's already moved one more room, the reason you can't have the mask on the entire time is because the music box needs to get wound up, and by and if you don't do that, that's another way you die. Um, and it gives you a lot of warnings before it. See, Mangle's already moved another room. Um, and to wind it up, all you have to do is just push the button out here every once in a while. Uh, not that difficult of a job, but if you have the mask on the entire time, you can't do that. So right now, what I'm supposed to be showing off is how it works. So, as you can see, the Mangle started from that room and is making her path all the way to me. And uh, I'm going to... So right now, it's also 1 a.m. I'm going to... The clock isn't that important. I'll show you guys that later if you do really want to. Uh, right now the mangles moves once again. But basically what I'm trying to show off here is what it does. Basically what you what we're building is something that can take a redstone signal, move it forward one, and get rid of the old one. And that's not too difficult, but what we're going to be building today also allows it so you can change how fast it goes up with one flip, flip of the lever. And um, as you can, as you saw at the beginning when I uh, turned the mangle on to like setting one. So uh, as soon as they get, she gets out of that hallway, she'll be in the hallway where there's no camera lights, which means she's probably going to appear there in the hallway. And then you have to turn on the flashlight to see where she's at. So we're gonna wait until she moves. And she's moved, and as you can hear, there's little sounds going off right now, meaning that someone is in the hallway or the vent. Right now, no one's in the vent, and you can see Mangle is hanging off the ceiling in the hallway. I always do check your vents. Sometimes they do appear in there. Uh, that is if you have those guys turned on. Uh, it's it's a set path. It's um, They can't really variate from their path, because Mangle's path goes there to green to brown to pink to blue, to hallway 1, to hallway 2, and then to the room, and then to kill you. And I'll go more in depth on that, we can just go ahead and turn this off. Uh, the flashlight doesn't affect any of the uh, animatronics besides Foxy, and then that's something entirely different on its own. Right now it's 2am, it says night 7, even though um, there's not really any night options. I was going to have night options but I decided against it because it was going to take too long and I wanted to get this map out, and the fourth game is already on its way. Right now, Mangle's here in the office. The lights turn off. I just need to flip this on. Now, if you if you jump, you can kind of see them. Uh, you have to keep jumping, though. If you want to, you can fly, I suppose, because you are in creative mode. We have to wait till it goes away. The longer you keep it on, the farther away it'll go. So we look here, it's probably going to move all the way back. So look, it's moving there now, it's going to go there, and then it's back. And then it's all the way over there. So that is how that works. Um, that's basically it, and uh, now I will show you guys how to uh, build it. What you're going to want to do, and uh, you're going to want to get out these things... We're going to be switching our inventory a lot, so um, we also need a cobweb, and there it is. What we're going to be doing is we're going to, well, let me build what we want to happen. So get out this, this, and that. Put a, um, a dispenser there, actually elevate it up one. And then have something like that going out and then put a comparator right there and then do that now for uh, making this easier on us we're going to be throwing things in there we're going to put a hopper right on top of it okay now after you do that basically let me tell you what we're trying to do uh, as I said at the beginning we're trying to get it so we have something that moves from one redstone signal to another so let me do this let me uh, put this in my inventory and actually pull out now a redstone repeater and 
something that only stacks once. So a music disc, a minecart, I use music discs just because they're the easiest thing. So, okay. Let's actually take out the second one. So on this first one, it's sending a signal to there. And then on the second one, it's sending a signal to there. And then on the third one, it's sending a signal to there. And then the pattern just kind of goes like that. So it should go like this. And then like that, I believe. So let's see if I'm right. Yep, goes there. Goes there. Goes there. Goes there. And then goes there. And then is it full? It can do one more. Let's see what it is. If I can find it where I'm at. Okay. And then goes there. And I think it's going to go all the way to the end here. Yeah. And then after that, it can't go any farther. So if I were to put a repeater here, nothing would happen. Basically, what we want to do is we want to have something... So when you saw the uh, camera, basically it was just lights. So it was like lights all the way up to about like here. And then after that, it was like right here. After that, it was pistons. And then after that, it was uh, something that killed you. So basically how it goes over there is it goes through the uh, through the little pathway it has and then it gets to here Now, when it gets to here uh, you have the player has a chance to interact with it and at that point if he chooses he or she chooses not to interact with it the redstone signal moves one more and then that ends the game and then it does what it does when it does the game over thing and I'll show you that in an another video if the player decides to interact with it and put the mask on as I've showed you the redstone signal then goes over here and dispenses out those redstone discs so before it gets a chance to move to the game over one it pulls it all the way back to here so let me show you what that would be like basically when you put on the mask it sets off a circuit so let me let me make a circuit for you for those of you that don't know what it is it's basically like this you gotta get out of the redstone torch boom uh, boom So now it's just going to keep moving. And then we do this. 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 Okay. Now we hook this up to this. So whenever you put the mask on, uh, basically what happens, you put it on, and then that goes off, and it starts dispensing these discs. I'll make it go a little faster just so I can show you guys. And as you can see, it starts going down. Now, as I said before, the longer you have it on, the farther back it goes. If we turn it off early, then, as you can see, it didn't go all the way back. And then, I, the way I built it on the other thing, which I'll also add and show you guys, is I have it so, um, as, you, as you can just see, even if it didn't get all the way to the end, you can still put on the mask and pull it back. There is a way to fix that, and I'll show you that in just a second. I want to finish building everything else first. So that is the gist of it. Now, another issue that we have. As you can see, when we had it all lit up, the old ones didn't go away. So it left a trail behind it. Now, it wouldn't, that, that's not too bad, but we want to make this look as nice as we can. So to fix that, we do this. So, what you want to do is let's get rid of this again and pull out what we had before. Actually, no, we don't need this quite yet. We get redstone comparator, repeater, and redstone dust. What you want to do is you want to, oops, you want to have a comparator, turn the light on, and then send a signal there, and then as soon as you do that, so actually, uh, have a comparator there, so like, kind of have a staircase going up. And then finish off putting the redstone uh, repeaters there. Turn on all the little lights. 
And, oh yeah, be sure you do turn on the lights. If you don't, it won't work. And then have that there, have that there, have that, oh. Have that there, have that there. And then this. And that should do it now whenever we have all these things set up. It should go one by one. So let's get rid of this and test. No matter what you're doing with, with redstone, be sure to always test it before you go too far. So there's the first one, and then moves to the second one, and as you can see I didn't put the uh, second thing there, so now, so now it goes off, we go to the third one, and then it moves, turns the other one off, we go to next, turns that one off, next, turns that one off, and we go to the next one, and then be, be sure not to cut the test short just because of time. Be sure to always uh, work and make sure everything is doing what it's supposed to be doing because somewhere down the line it will mess you up if you don't, if something is messed up. And then, boom. So, something you can do if you want to go super simple is have a clock set up so that it releases. Uh, let me show ya. Where's the chest? There's a chest. If you want to have something super simple set up, something that you uh, may know is if there is a redstone signal, no matter what you have in there, it's not going to go through the hopper it, as long as it's active. If you have it off, then it starts moving and doing what's supposed to be doing. So as I said, if you want to do something super simple um, and not adjustable as these other ones are, you just simply set up a clock like this. And it can even be smaller than that. I'm going to make it as small as I can. So we have like this. Like this, get rid of this. We do that, and then it just keeps going in a circle. And then we get a redstone lever. So whenever you do start the game, you just unflip it, and it's full. So let's make it unfull. Actually, it should be the other way around. Let's fix that. It should be like. like this. Okay. Yeah. I'm new to doing this kind of setup, uh, so I'm not as good with it as I am with the other one. Uh, I just kind of made this up on the fly if you want to do something simple. So every time you do want to play, um, you flip this and then it will start sending them off. All right, now it's shooting them out just because this redstone torch is activating it. Easy way to fix that is just push this back one and then have uh, this um, go into something like, uh, like this. So like have that torch set off this. Let me show you. Just because it is bugging out and it's not supposed to do that, it's supposed to do this. There it is. Right now it's uh, empty, so let's get a new one in there. It's still shooting it off. I don't know why it's doing that. Maybe I have to... Anyway, I'll fix that if, if that is an issue with you and uh, say something in the description below and I'll try to fix that. But that's not why we're here. We're here to build the version that I know how to build and unfortunately that's all the time I have for this video I will uh, upload part two right away I just don't want to bore a bit uh, people viewing the video and I hope you enjoyed if you did be sure to hit the like button and the subscribe button and I'll see you in the next video part two